Hey everyone, my name is Ebony, also known as Bonnie Divine, and today in this video we will be talking about why I went full-blown vegan. Yes, full-blown. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about is how did I eat growing up? So growing up, I ate really, really good, like really good. And I'm very thankful that I was able to eat very, very good. <laughs> so, you know, I, I had an obsession really with like different meats, you know, like chicken and like steak. Oh my gosh, steak was my absolute favorite. Like you could tell me nothing. Like I needed steak all the time, like T-bone, like sirloin, like steak tacos, like steak burritos, like steak on everything, like steak adobo, like just steak. <laughs> so I absolutely love steak. I absolutely love meat, you know, macaroni and cheese and greens and chicken adobo and rice and lumpia, like fried foods, you know, like fried chicken you know like all of these things these are some of the things that i grew up eating i really wasn't big on eating fruits and vegetables really like honestly when i was younger i was kind of disgusted by fruits there was only a little bit of fruits that i actually really liked no it was actually probably like one fruit that i liked and that was like grapes that was like my favorite and other than that i really didn't like eating any fruits or vegetables i needed to have like my cheese my dairy my milk my rice my beans my meat my pork you know all of these things i needed that i wanted that more than i wanted fruits and vegetables another thing about me is that i was super super greedy you know like i had to get like third plates you know what i mean like it wasn't just one plate like i needed to have like a third plate of steak you know of macaroni and cheese you know a third plate of chicken adobo you know a third plate a fourth plate a fifth plate you know that was just how i was eating you know that's what i was accustomed to and i was very grateful for it and i loved to eat eating was just so wonderful it was so great and don't even get me started on like sweets and like cakes and ice cream and all of these things like every probably every other day you know eating candy and just eating all of this stuff and pushing those fruits and those vegetables to the side i'm like y'all could you know do something else but right now i'm about to have my meat and i'm about to have my mac and cheese and i'm about to be good <laughs> let's go ahead and let's fast forward up to now so i've been dealing with multiple health issues it's very interesting um a lot of it is digestive system issues and i've been dealing with digestive system issues since i was like a little girl um but now it has added on so it's digestive system issues it's anxieties it's headaches it's ringing in the ears it's so many different things that i have been dealing with and you know i've been just trying to find you know the solution like how can all of these things be healed you know how can i be healed how can i get rid of all of the things that i'm dealing with right now basically and so i want to say about three months ago i had just this intense feeling of all of the symptoms that i named to you and i actually have a few more but i had this just a really really intense feeling of all of the feelings in my body and i felt very uncomfortable like extremely uncomfortable i'm like okay god like I gotta do something right now because my body does not feel good like it literally felt like my body was just out of whack and it felt as though i was going to die every single day within every single moment like i was praying to god like god what is going on like what's happening so i was like okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fast and i'm gonna pray and i'm gonna see you know what happens because you know they say miracles can happen when you fast and pray and so that's what i did i fasted i prayed and I did that for about a month and I lost a lot of weight. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you fast, trust me, you're gonna lose a lot of weight. I lost around like 30 pounds. It was pretty interesting, you know? Yeah. Anyways, so I fasted for about a month and I actually started to feel a little bit better. You know, I felt as though my anxiety was going down. My digestive was kind of flowing a little bit more than it was usually because it was pretty bad in the past, you know, and over the past year, it hasn't been great. It really has not been great at all. And so some of those symptoms had start, they started dying down. They started, you know, lowering down. I started feeling better and I was grateful. I'm like, okay, cool. Like I fasted, I prayed, you know, thank you, God, you know, thank you, Lord, that I feel better right now. And my body feels better. You know, I shed it, you know, some weight on top of everything, probably a little bit more than I was expecting, but you know, <laughs> Since, you know, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling great, 
now I'm like, you know what? I can go back to eating the same way because now I'm healed. You know, now I'm feeling better. So I went back to eating chicken. I went back to eating dairy. I went back to eating all of these things, you know, and of course, what happens? I'm still feeling the same, if not worse, than I was feeling before. So I'm like, okay. <sighs> It seems like I'm going to need to make some changes, some drastic changes to see a difference because this has been going on too long. These health issues have been going on too long. You know, me feeling uncomfortable in my body has been going on too long. And I feel as though that I want to live an abundant life. I want to feel good every day. I want to wake up feeling vibrant and energized. And I'm not feeling this way. I'm feeling actually the complete opposite. And so I'm like, okay, I have to make some changes. So I started researching, just researching different diets and what's good for your body, what's not good for your body. And I started listening to Dr. Sebi and Queen Afuya. And I watched this movie, it was called What the Health? <laughs> yeah, What the Health? And it's on Netflix. And you know, it really opened my eyes to just the all American diet that we all eat all the time. You know, your cheeseburgers, your chicken, your tacos, everything that they promote on TV, you know, all the cheesy stuff that looks bomb, like, and it tastes bomb. But a lot of this stuff is not good for us. You know, dairy is not good for us. And a lot of times, with the chickens and all of the meats and all of this, all of these things, they're injecting it with things that we have no idea what it is, you know what I'm saying? And so all of that is going into our bodies. And I didn't really realize that until, you know, this health issue, all of these health issues coming on me, you know, happened. And so I'm just like, okay, I'm putting all of this in my body, all of these chemicals, all of these things. And, and I've been eating this way for years on top of years on top of years. So a lot of these foods that we think are normal, they really are not good for us. You know, a lot of these foods that we think may be good for us, they really aren't good for us. They're they're filled with toxins, they're filled with chemicals, and it's it's just not good for us, you know? And so I started looking into just eating healthier foods, you know, eating, you know, fruits and vegetables, the two things that I would stay away from when I was younger, you know, fruits, vegetables, and drinking more water and drinking more teas. Like I absolutely love these things now because I can see it helping my body and transforming my body to be a healthier me. And it's like a lot of these foods, you know, the American diet that we we have like a lot of these foods can create a lot of mucus within us and with the mucus that creates disease and when you have disease you you start feeling like me and that's not okay you know it's it's not okay especially if we can avoid that you know and find a cure for it without having to pop a pill or having to be sedated you know by some medical pill that the doctors gave to you you know if we can find a healthier alternative by eating fruits and vegetables and drinking tea and water and all of these things like that's great you know and not having to have all these extra side effects that can cause another disease to pop up you know what i'm saying i was very blessed to be able to speak to my family you know about just some of their health issues that they deal with and their moms and their mom's moms and their dad's dads you know and some of the things that they dealt with and to see that a lot of them are still eating the all-american diet but yet they have these diseases and so i'm here and i realize that i need to break this i need to break this cycle within myself so my children and my children's children don't have to deal with this because this is a lot you know having to deal with digestive anxiety headaches and tension and out of body experiences and all of these things is very uncomfortable i wouldn't wish this upon anyone you know and so if it's as simple as eating some fruits and vegetables that's what i'm gonna do now it sounds simple but it is <laughs> it is kind of hard you know you're so used to doing something a certain way you know and i was so used to eating meat all the time you know that was my go-to just seeing the difference from when i fasted you know i was only eating fruits and vegetables to not fasting and eating the regular all-american diet i felt a huge difference and you know i would rather feel lighter i would rather feel energized i would rather put things into my body that i know are good for me so i can be the best me that i can be <laughs> You know, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I even felt with like the fasting that I did, like I did feel lighter. I felt lighter and I felt like I shedded 
weight off of me, you know, toxins off of me, things that no longer serve me. That was amazing. And so that's why I am vegan. <laughs> That's why I am fully vegan. Um, I have been vegan for about a month now, but I am literally to the point where I'm just like, you know what? The chicken smells good, but I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like I've I've had my chicken, I've had my steaks, I've had my burritos, I've had all of it, you know, I've, I've had it, you know, and I want to feel good. I want to be the best me that I can possibly be. So that can be pushed over to the side. And um, it's exciting for me because it gives me an opportunity to be able to create new vegan meals, you know what I mean? Like things that I liked that were not vegan, you know, like chicken and spaghetti and tacos, like all of those things I'm able to veganize it. And so that kind of makes it fun, you know, cause it's like, okay, I get to experiment with different seasonings and try to make things taste as similar as like chicken and like steak and like tacos and like chicken adobo and like all of these things, you know, I'm able to like spice things up to however I want, you know, let hubby try it, see if he likes it. And if he likes it, then it's like, okay, cool. Like we both like it. We're both fulfilled. We're both, you know, eating healthy things. So yeah, it all works out. <laughs> <laughs> Being vegan, I eat way more fruits and vegetables, which is so ironic because I used to hate it. <laughs> I drink a lot of smoothies, I drink a lot of tea, and I experiment with making new vegan foods. And so that's what it's been for me. I've noticed a difference as far as like my skin has cleared up a lot, a lot. I mean, I would break out all the time. Like I would have polka dots around my face. It was ridiculous. Um, and I do break out from time to time, but it's not as intense. And I feel as though like I'm really truly detoxing my body right now as far as like my health wise and, and how I'm feeling I still feel some of those health issues and I've come to acceptance knowing that this is a healing journey for me and I've been eating something for so long and you know it it's impacted my body and it's it's a process to heal and so um, I do feel as though I am getting better um, I still have my my moments my experiences but I have seen improvement. I actually have seen a lot of improvement in my digestive um, in a month from going vegan, which is amazing. You know, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. But I do know that this journey is a process and that I'm gonna keep growing and keep fighting temptation and to, to the point where it's just like, you know, chicken don't phase me no more. <laughs> But it's a process. I feel happy with the decision that I made because I feel as though it's good for me. And I feel like this is what works for me. And I feel like this path um, has so much to offer for me. And I'm excited, you know, I'm excited to feel vibrant and energized, you know what I mean? And if I could make it through a season of not feeling the best me, like just imagine, you know, how I will feel, you know, just being fully me and just being energized and being vibrant and eating healthy and exercising and being that person because it's like I haven't been that person and so to transition to being a healthier me I'm excited you know so that part of me is really excited I'm fighting I'm pushing every single day to be a healthier me every way you know and this isn't just natural either this is spiritual you know I feel like it's a symbolism of just everything that no longer serves me. Like I'm letting it go. I'm letting go of all of the toxins, all of the negativity, all of the poisonous things, you know, that I've put into my body. It's been um, more than just a natural detox. It's been very spiritual for me as well. You know, just letting go, letting go of what, what doesn't belong anymore. It just, it doesn't have its purpose here anymore. And I'm literally, evolving into this divine beautiful wonderful amazing spectacular person that i am and so <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's why I'm vegan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, are you vegan? Are you not vegan? Do you plan on going vegan? Do you plan on staying pescatarian? Do you plan on staying all American? Let me know your thoughts and what you're gonna do and how your journey is going. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a lovely thumbs up. Bye.